Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In the last video we we made a couple of games, we did a bit of stuff, um, we put game number four out into the market and it was absolutely crap. Um, not happy with game number four at all. I think it's time we developed a new game about superheroes. It's going to be an action game and I want to do it on the Super Nintendo but it doesn't seem to let me. Well, we'll do it on the G64. We're going to call this Marble... Battle? No, let's not call it that. Let's call it... What can we call it? What can we call our game about superheroes? I'm trying to think. I don't know what we'll call, we'll call it heroes. But no, no, that's crap. We'll call it, um... Who are the two comic book makers? We've got Marvel and DC. Call it BC Heroes. With a Z, because it's elite. Because it's like, it's ultra elite. We'll call it three lead because it's like ultra, ultra elite. Oh, the left and right buttons don't work in this. There we go. Elite. One three three seven L E E T. You know it should be seven three three one. No, no, it should be one three three seven. We'll call it elite. BC Heroes Elite. It's going to cost us thirty thousand to make. Two D graphics. I don't even. I don't even make text based games. They don't. They don't exist. Got to have a good engine. Got to have good gameplay. Meh stories. The new game platform by Tess has been revealed. Awesome. All right, so dialogues, not so much. Awesome level design, decent artificial intelligence. I just made this one an all-rounder. Should just be pretty good. Oh, it's creating a lot of bugs for this one. Don't like that. Good world design, good graphics, good sound. Let's just make this one fairly even. A bit less on the sound, I think. Oh, RM2K Dev, man, you coding way too many bugs there. Fix them bugs up right now. Fix them. And add some more technology while you're at it. More. Oh, 48,000 in sales. That's not too bad. It's not great. Can I squeeze one more point into design? You just made a fucking bug. What the hell is this? Come on. Squish me into design. Oh, we're just wasting time. Skip. We got a new record for technology though, so this could be a good game. BC Heroes Elite. This sounds like a good game. I'd play it. Release the game. It's like Mr. Burns. Release the hounds. Alright, uh, reviews for our new game, BC Heroes Elite, came in. I'm feeling good about this. Oh man, these reviewers are critical. Absolutely critical has its moments close. I'm not happy with that guys you reviewers need to do a little bit more Let's generate a game report For our um, BC heroes elite Generating research points probably a good time to unlock a new genre as well Superheroes and action is a great combination. Wall design seems to not be very important for this type of game. Level design seems to be quite important. And platformer match genre action and G64 is good. That was kind of a waste of time. I knew all that. Research a new topic. Uh, oh, Post-apocalyptic. Gotta have that. Uh, can we get game? Oh, we can only get one. Post-apocalyptic. Right. Let's get that. I can't believe it. We've, we've actually managed to amass 246 fans and earn $205,000. This is not very realistic. I'll put it in perspective. I have more than 200 fans and I do not have $200,000 from my games. So, very unrealistic simulation, guys, at uh, Green Heart Studios. You've uh, failed to make a highly refined simulation here. No, I'm just kidding. This is a really fun game. Um, Let's develop a new game quickly. Uh, topic: post-apocalyptic, <laughs> post-apocalyptic simulation. Um, no, a post-apocalyptic adventure. Yes, I like it. Let's call it. Uh, f what's what can we do? It's got to be Fallout or like The Walking Dead. So we'll call it like I don't know, um, The Talking Dead. It's gonna have good dialogue. <laughs> We're gonna do this for the TS. Yes, can we do it? 
Yes, let's do it. Get the license. Let's do it. Text, uh, sorry, 2D, 2D game. I don't have much skill programming for the uh, super for the TES, but you know what? It's got to have good dialogue, good engine. You know what? Let's make this a very a very even game. I'm, I want this time to be successful. It's a launch title for the TES. It has to be successful. Uh oh, BC Heroes Elite is off the market. It made 144,000 in sales. That's not too bad actually. I'm quite happy with that. But now we're working on the Talking Dead. A post-apocalyptic adventure with good dialogue. Um, need, it does, it's a zombie game, so it doesn't need that much artificial intelligence, but it needs decent level design, and it needs... It needs really good dialogue, because it's about the talking dead. I love how my guy's got a little notepad on his desk. I've got the, like, exact same thing when I'm building games. I've got a little notepad on my desk, and I, like, write, you know really really crappy ideas into it all the time um, sound is not going to be important for this graphics are going to be important and world design is going to be fairly important as well come on you need to set records for design here I am pure dev the recently released test home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far one customer says I love the games that come with the tests, and playing with a controller is much more fun than on a keyboard. Well, I think we predicted that one. Right, give me some design points, RM2K. You can do it. One more, one more. Come on. Yes, we got it. Finish. I think that's going to be a record. No, it's not a record. New topic, new combo. But was it good? Only time will tell. And the very, very harsh reviewers over at allgames.com. Let's release this game. Let's get it out. I want to do a game report on... Oh, no, I can't because it hasn't been released yet. Uh, research, then. Research me mono sounds. It's time. The first reviews for our newly released game, The Talking Dead, have come in. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got high hopes for this. This was on the Nintendo... Oh, sorry, the Ninvento TES. Unfortunately, if this was actually on the Nintendo TES... Sorry, the Ninvento TES, um, we wouldn't be allowed to upload this video to YouTube because Nin Ninvento would uh, flag it for copyright and take it down straight away. Because that's what they do. Assholes. Um, right, so... Yes, we've got mono sounds. You just researched your first engine part to be able to use this in your engines. Cool. We're going to get to a point where we're going to create the best damn engine we've ever seen. Let's make a... Can we research a new topic? I want to see a... Mm, a horror game. I think it's time. It's time for the world to have a horror game. But we've lost $100,000. So we're not doing too well. I mean, we did have two hundred thousand dollars before, and now we only have a hundred. So it's time to make a new game. It's going to be a horror. It's going to be a horror what? It's going to be a horror adventure, and we're going to call it Resident Evil. No, we're not going to call it that. We're going to call it what can we call it? What's another word for resident? Residing. Let's call it residing. Is that how you spell residing? Reside. In, 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 yeah, reciting. Uh, we'll call it reciting badness. There we go, reciting badness. I like it. And we're gonna do this for. We're gonna do it for the Nintendo TS again. 2D graphics. I'm happy with that. Uh oh, the Talking Dead hasn't done so well. Uh, let's make it fairly horror adventure game. Yeah, really good gameplay. Decent engine, decent stories. Pretty, pretty uh, average across the board there. Recent studies suggest that increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized gamers. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for more mature age groups. Right. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Well, of course. New research available, target audience. Can we do research? No, we can't. 
Can we generate a game report while we make a game on The Talking Dead? Don't forget, creating custom game engines, this will improve your games a lot. You can create a custom engine through the action menu once you have researched the custom engine. I think it's about time that we made our engine as well. Seems to be... Sound seems to be not very important. World design seems to be very important for this title. Platform genre match adventure on the TES is bad. What? I remember the NES, or sorry, the TES having some of the best adventure games on it that you could possibly imagine. So The Talking Dead is off the market. It only generated $110,000 in sales. Not so happy with that. However, I think our residing badness horror adventure game is going to do really well. You know what? Let's make this flat even. I want this game to be... to just be good. Uh oh, Vina. Another Japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. What could the Vina be? I wonder. Uh, so sound apparently isn't that important, so let's drop it down. For adventure games. Oh crap, I'm building an adventure game for the TES. Uh, this isn't going to be... You know what, let's just... let's Graphics are just meh. Sound is really meh, and the, end, and the other one's just like really boosted. Oh shit, look how many points we're getting in design there. Come on, one more point to design, you can do it. Yes! He did it. RM2K Dev's good like that, you know, he does that sort of stuff sometimes. New topic, new combo, new record, 1.5 times bonus, can we do it? What are we gonna get? Come on, release the game. We're, we're running out of money really fast, so we need to get some, um... You know what, it's time to make an engine. 2D gra- oh, we don't have enough money to build an engine yet. Let's, uh, develop a new game. Remembering that the TES was actually not a console that- You know what, let's do a medieval RPG. We know that that's a great combo. We'll do it on the TES. What's that? Uh, adventure minus minus, right. We don't know about RPG simulation and strategy yet. I think I think RPGs are going to be good on the TES. So, and we know that this is going to be a good combo. What are we going to call this? It's a medieval RPG. It's going to be about time travelers coming to the past, and we're going to call it. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it. Hmm. Echoes in time. I need to add an echo onto that, so it's like time, 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 time. Anyway, 2D graphics, reviews for our newly released game, residing pad does just came in. I got good feeling, good feeling. Horror and adventure is a great combination. Who would have thought? I like it by the informed gamer. Come on, you gotta give me, oh, it shows potential. This is gonna be our highest rating yet. Has its moments, okay. Not too bad. So now we're working on Echoes in Time, a medieval RPG for the for the uh, Ninvento TES. What's this? Vina has confirmed recent rumors about making a new game console and announced the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento and plans to release it in the coming months. However, we all know that it sucked and it's not going to do too. Actually, that's a lie. It actually was really good. I had one when I was little. Uh, Echoes in Time is going to have a fucking awesome engine. It's just going to be, this engine is going to be like, it's just going to be mind blowing. You're going to play this game and your mind is going to melt and just... That was the sound of, of a mind being blown. So yeah, it's going to have a wicked engine. Um, uh, what else is going to have? It's an RPG, so it needs good dialogues, decent level design. Really good level design. Let's make one with really good level design and just okay. Uh, you know what? Let's have really good artificial intelligence as well. Let's do it. Residing badness looks like it's doing pretty good. Can we advertise our game or something like that? Is there a way? I think there's a way. World design, graphics, sound. Sound is not so important at the moment. I'm happy with that. Now, can we advertise our game? We can't. 
Oh, Residing Badness went up in sales for one week. Six bugs. We've got to finish these, this, got to finish these bugs off. Come on, I want some design points, RM2K dev. Get them. Ah, oh, technology point. One more. Come on, you, give me, give me one more. Come on, one more. There we go. Oh, two more. Good job. That's a new, that's a new, um, a new record. Echoes in Time, the medieval RPG for the Nintendo, the Nintendo TS. I can't not say Nintendo. I just can't not say it. I have to say it. Quickly, let's, um, let's research a new topic. Business simulation. That sounds like it's going to be good. We'll call it Lemonade Stand. Reviews for our newly game Echoes... Sorry, our newly game. The first reviews for our newly released game, Echoes in Time, came in. What did we get? Come on. Oh my god, Star Games, you are so hard to please. Informed gamer knows what's up. Shows potential. That's going to make us 100,000. I bet. Today, the new game platform Master B by Vina has been released. I think that's supposed to be Sega. Rising Badness is off the market. It sold 28,000 units, generating 201 sales. 201 sales. 201,000 sales. That's not so bad. And I don't know if you see this, but our, our uh, fans, they're going up. Research complete. Business. Right, let's develop a new game for... Business Simulation. And we're going to do it on the... We need, a, we need a license for the Master V, but we know it doesn't do too well in the future, so I'm not even going to bother paying for it. We're going to do it on the Nintendo TES again. Uh, we need to give it a name. What are we calling this one, guys? I need to call this one... Lemonade. That's not even how you spell Lemonade. That's not even close to how you spell lemonade. Let me do that again. Lemon aid. It's aid. A I D. Uh, lemonade stand tycoon pro. Let's call this like the pro elite. Pro elite package. Pro elite pack. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll call it um, lemonade. What is it? What do we call it? We call it lemonade something. Lemonade Stand Tycoon. Did I spell Lemonade right? I hope I did. Lemonade Stand, stand Tycoon. Not Pro Elite Pack. We need to have it including like, um... No, alright, let's just call it the Pro Elite Pack. Dawdling. Start development. Let's do it. What's it gonna be? It's a business simulation game. It's good engine. Really good gameplay. Story and quest don't matter so much. We'll just leave that medium. Ooh. The recently released gaming console by Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Come on, RM2K. Oh, don't scratch your head like that. That's making me nervous, man. He scratches his head and he makes a, f a shitload of bugs. It's a business simulation game that's going to have really good dialogue, really good level design, and average artificial intelligence. Uh, it doesn't need so good... It's a simulation game, so world design doesn't matter that much. Graphics... Uh, you know what? Let's just leave all of this pretty average. Excuse me, guys. I've been talking for a long time now. Echoes in Time is now off the market. It sold 20,000 units, generating 145,000 in sales. Good numbers. Good numbers indeed. Now fix those bugs, you damn lazy programmer. Come on. There we go. It's not a record breaker, but it's a good match between design and technology. It's almost even. Everything's leveled up as well. Release the game. Better user dialogue, better dialogues, level editor and open worlds. Or oh, open worlds, we could make like a simulation, I don't know, something. Let's research some, let's research some stuff. It's gonna cost us 40,000 to research it. 
What can we get from a new topic? Alternate history. Why do these topics suck so bad? Let's get evolution. Ah, oh, if I research a topic, it's not going to work, is it? Let's go with the open world. We'll research open world. That's going to be an engine thing, isn't it, though? I bet it is. Let's just get a new topic. Evolution. We'll start researching more technologies when we... <laughs> the first reviews for our newly released game, Lemonade. That's not how you spell Lemonade. I swear to God, I spelled that wrong. Lemonade Stand Tycoon Pro Elite Pack came in. What is it? What's it done? This is going to be shit. I can tell. Oh, no. That's not so bad. Could have been better. But it's not such a bad score. Quirky, but good. Come on. Give us a seven. Nice. Nice experience by all games. That's going to do well. That got really good reviews. And we have 483 fans now, which means that we're going to have a lot more sales straight off, straight off the bat. Casual games. Yes, we need that. Evolution. Let's research the casual games. How do we do it? Uh, target audience or casual games. Casual games. Yeah, let's do it. I think it's time. Um, I think it's time we made a casual game. Recent market data shows that the Governor G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against the PC manufacturers. Yep. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in, in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer, more advanced PCs. As we all know happened in the real world, pretty much. So Lemonade Stand Tycoon Pro Elite Pack has been doing pretty well. Alright, it's time to develop a new game. Let's pick our platform first. We'll do it on the TES. It's going to be a evolution casual game. Nah, that's going to be weird. I think it should be a casual game about... About... What's it going to be about? It's going to be about superheroes. No, we've already done that. A casual... No, we've already done detective. Alright, let's make a casual game dev game on the Nintendo TES. Um, 2D graphics v1, I'm fine with that. We're starting to make back a lot of money now though, so I'm quite good with that. It's a casual game, so gameplay is everything, story and quests are everything, and engine is, eh, you can get away with an alright engine, but you don't need to, you don't need to spend a lot of money on your engine. Um, so it's a casual game, so artificial intelligence is obviously not really that essential, level design is essential, very essential, and dialogues slightly above the artificial intelligence. It's not a super high priority thing, but it would be nice to have them. Um, oh, Lemonade Stand Tycoon Pro Elite Pack only made 154,000 in sales. I was expecting a little bit more from it, considering it had such great reviews. <gasps> the Invento, what are they calling it? The Gameling. That's a pretty lame name. I sort of thought about something but anyway today Ninvento has announced they'll be introducing a portable gaming device called the Gameling the device comes with charge changeable game cartridges a monochrome screen on a green background built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via a connection cable compared to PCs and other gaming consoles the gaming is underpowered but given the low cost and excellent portability it might find a huge following it will it will the Gameling is said to hit shelves next month Right, so let's finish off this game quick. Oh, I didn't give it a name again. I called it game number 10. It's a casual game, so it needs really good graphics. Sound is nah. World design is nah. It just needs graphics. It's like Angry Birds or some game like that. Why didn't I give it a name? I should have given it a good name. That could have been a good, something good. Come on, give me two points in something else. Perfect. Oh, we can change the name. So it's a game dev casual game. I'm going to call this Game Dev Tycoon. So this is literally Game Dev Tycoon inside of Game Dev Tycoon played by a game dev. Potential Tycoon. New research available. Simple cutscenes. I think it's I think it's high time to get a Pokemon clone out on the market. Uh, the reviews for our newly released game, game number 10, came- I just changed the name! It didn't change! That's- that's bugging me now. I can't call the game, game number 10. Whoa! That got a good score. 
Oh, that actually got a really good score. Right, come on, one more month. One more month and we can start developing for the Nintendo Gameling. Yes, it's been released, quickly, let's get a license. Actually, let's research first. A new topic, oh, military. Let's make a school, we'll research school and then hopefully we'll get a better, a better, um, a better genre after this. Let's see what our sales are like. However, before we see what the sales are like, I'd just like to say to you all, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment in the comment section below, any questions, feedback, etc. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.